Hey, welcome to the channel. If you're new to the channel, this is a buying and selling channel. So, um, what I wanted to talk about is specifically one, uh, to me, now I like the fact getting to handle the cards as they come through as I buy and sell them. It is tempting to hold on to them. They do kind of hold with me for a while while I wait from the PSA or sell. Um, but I'm always looking at the next investment. So, it's kind of hard in a sense, isn't it? So you're trying to figure out what will be the next big thing for Pokemon. And the reason why the cards won't jump up in value as much as the other cards is because of people already collecting and preserving them. So they're not wearing out as quickly as the original cards. Now, what I did guess, um, you know, just so you kind of know, uh, one of my guesses that was correct within just a matter of like a month or two of the, of the prediction, I mean, you can see it on my earlier videos, is I predicted that Pikachu would go up in value. And it, it I wouldn't really call it a skyrocket, but I, it definitely rocketed up in value. Base set, almost every Pikachu went up by a certain multiplying factor. Um, so like certain Pikachus that were worth like 10 cents went up to like 15 cents a piece. Doesn't seem like a big deal, but you apply the same sort of factor for like these other Pikachus, like base set Pikachus were all of a sudden just bumping up by hundreds to, to two hundreds of dollars of each on um, actual selling price so one of the things that i want to show that i think is a really cool card set that i didn't know until i got back into pokemon buying and selling them um is break cards and so break cards in my opinion are going to be the next card that everyone wishes that they had one of so um just gonna go ahead and look them over if you haven't seen them. So this is a nine tails break card. Um, I think they look awesome. I think they just they're they they they're so, they they are kind of hard to look at and they're so hard not to they're so hard to look away from. Um, and their attacks are pretty cool sometimes. So like this one's pretty cool. This one can do a ton of damage if it can survive. Um, it's got a pretty good amount of HP in my opinion. This is just an awesome card. This one. All the cards that you see today, when, when they're sleeved up, these are ones that I'm sending into the PSA for my own holding um, because I plan on getting them rated and selling them. So the next one is Nido King, and like some other things I think is cool about this is like they're all like liquid gold. The the Pokemon that they do on this break set card, um, the background pretty much the same for all of them but they put them in a certain pose, they really magnify them, they basically make them a full art, the card runs left to right, um, just just really cool cards. Um, and the thing is, is it's really hard to get PSA information on them because a lot of people aren't buying and selling them, they aren't PSAing them, they're not preserving them. They've been around for a while now to where it should build enough attraction to where they're being PSA'd, but they're not. And that is a good thing for anyone who might have them right now. Um, especially if you have them at least in the 9 and up. If you have it into where it's a category 8, you're definitely going to have to wait a little bit longer for that to really kind of fan out. Um, I would say the way things are going, my prediction is, is that you'll see a fairly strong, like strong price increase in 5 years for these. And you'll see you'll see a significant, just devastatingly, like, this to me, this Amistar just looks like he's, like, the god of water Pokemon, like, worship me, he's like the Cthulhu, basically, um, but yeah, you're just, you're, you're looking at just, in five years, a, a pretty strong price increase, so what that would be is, like, um, for example, I know someone's asking, I don't think it's really going for, but I think it's a fair price. For PSA 10 Nido King Break, they're asking like 120 bucks. In five years, I would say PSA 10 Nido King Break will probably be $500. If you wait another five years after that, you're looking at easily the $1,000 mark, super easy. Um, you're probably looking at the $1,500 to $2,000 mark because people aren't taking the break card seriously. They're just willy-nilly selling them ungraded. They're preserving them, sure, in the best way they can with top loaders and sleeves and putting them in binders. But I've seen a lot of cards just being sold raw on eBay. 
um, but there's not a lot of PSA, BGS. I mean, no one is getting these graded, which is nuts to me, um, especially considering that they have the base set Pokemon. So you've seen Machamp, Ninetales, Nidoking, Amastar. Sure, Amastar isn't really a big one, but Starmie actually is. Starmie, um, PSA 9 of this, they're asking like 100 bucks. Machamp, PSA 10, they're asking like 100 bucks. And these cards are really, really easy to get in good condition. They're just made a lot sturdier. Um, most of the issue actually is on the back with the centering, but a lot of people aren't playing them. So there's no whiting on the back hardly ever. Um, they're just really cool cards. Uh, they definitely stand out. And I, they're just, they're going to continue to skyrocket in value. It's going to take five years in my opinion, but that is going to happen. So these are the ones that I plan on sending in. The reason why I specifically pulled these ones away is because they are, some of them were compiled of the uh, original Pokemon, like Starmie, Ninetales, Nidoking, and Machamp. So those have their own values. Actually, that's why they had a higher, uh, like, cost added to them when I was looking at them on eBay. Um, and then these are the ones that I'm selling. I'm just going to let go of my eBay store. Um as is they're still really wonderful cards they're still in really good condition um the whiting looks bad that way but really it's very minimal whiting on most of them the, they probably easily get psa 7 this one here um i would say it's in the running definitely for psa 8 i don't want to really put my word out there on that though um but i have had some cards come back not all my cards so if you hold them like this yep it looks pretty bad hold them normally it's not that i'm trying to avoid it there is definitely some whiting on this edge this one's probably psa 7 it's not whiting here and there but other than that the front is great and the centering on this one's actually pretty decent compared to most of them one of the things to look for um it's a really common misprint for all, any of the break cards is an inverted back so what that means is um this is actually supposed to be so essentially this is how you would hold the card basically if it wasn't you know horizontal so the evolution thing down here the evolution circle is the bottom left of the card every time so if you flip it over this is the correct way this should be standing up but what's a really common error for these is it's inverted the the, the ball is upside down and that actually increases the value pretty quickly so when you're looking at these if you're meeting someone in person look for that error it's a really simple error and a lot of people will miss it um, because a lot of people don't pay attention to the back of their cards. So here's a Yen, Yen Mega, and I could see this one easily being a PSA 9. Um, I think this one had a fact. So this one has a factory scratch line. I don't know how that's going to go against you, but that's straight a factory line. It's just too perfect to have been caused by anything else. Uh, I guess maybe, yeah, it should still be easy PSA 8, possible PSA 9. It's not a 10. Um, Yen Mega isn't super popular, but these are still wonderful cards. They're beautiful to see. They are still going to get up there pretty high in the PSA. And he's not inverted either. I'm just keeping these out there. So these are all the ones that I'm going to list in my store. I'm actually going to put the store in the description. I'm also going to put it on the video in a second. So you guys will actually see my store. You'll know where to get these if you choose to. Um, I'm going to list all of these at once. They're not going to be individual. Um, I'm going to list them all at once. The starting bid's going to be a dollar. And shipping uh, is going to be, uh, I should be able to put them all in one package. It's going to be hard to tell, um, but shipping should be pretty much $5 flat. They're all going to be penny sleeved and top loaded. So they're going to come to you and also a bubble mailer. Um, so the whiting looks really bad when I hold it like that. But that's just because the whiting of the edge of the card itself, when you actually hold the card flat, the whiting's really not that bad. That's like that's really only the main nick on this one. Um, and this is a Luxray break. And he is, is in, super interesting because he's all yellow because he's electric type. Um, so I'm going to put him, I'm just going to put him right here. He's not hurting anything, I promise. Um, this one seems to be, has the inverted error a lot more common with it. This one is not it, is not the inverted. However, it's still super clean on the back. Little itty bitty nicks of whiting. Nothing crazy. Still easy, PSA 7, possibly, I believe, probably PSA 8. It, it's probably closer to PSA 9, considering what my other two cards are coming back as. 
um, that I've already sent in, my shadow is charged. I don't know if they take that into account that the, the card is older when they do PSA. I don't think they're supposed to, but it's always a possibility. This mandibuzz on the other end is not in perfect condition. There's a little bit of scratching on the front. Um, this one apparently someone played with for some reason. Uh, either way, uh, it's another break card. It's coming with this set of cards. It's it's not terrible, terrible condition. It's just more whiting than the rest. Um, but yeah, really good card. Um, really beautiful in the fact that it's a break card and how it is. Um, we got a carbink. So carbink, you know, looking good. Um, I believe this one's perfect on the front. Maybe it, there's a little nick right up there. Um, and the back is super solid, a little itty bitty nick here and there. Other than that though, going, it's going to be all part of the sale. This one sadly wasn't in perfect condition. I would have PSA'd it myself. It's got some micro scratches on the front. It's an awesome crowbat and it has some whiting a little more than the others on the back. Some stronger whiting, like more powerful nicks. But other than that, it's still awesome crowbat. None of these look like they're inverted, so I'm sorry. I'm not, if I find an error card while I'm doing this, although I had checked before him, um, I am going to probably separate list that. This Raticate looks like it's in great condition. PSA 8 easily, probably PSA 9. Um, just just adding to the pile. Now, sadly, this one, um, I, I was debating. He is one of the original Pokemon. Um, he is in really good condition on the front. He looks awesome, covered with electricity. They really, they made him a water type. Goldark's just one of those Pokemon that who, he could be water, electric, psychic, really. He's just, he's an awesome Pokemon. Um, he's going to be a part of this. Uh, so, yeah. And he looks like he's in fairly strong condition, definitely for at least PSA 7. I've never seen this Pokemon until now. Uh, Klot, Klotzer. Um, these guys are in really good condition. Um, the back is super clean. The easily PSA 8. For some reason, this factory line seems to be really popular on these break cards right here. Other than that, easily PSA 8. Um, and then another Klotzer break. Um, I believe he's a little bit worse condition, or this one was a little bit better. It's really hard to tell seeing it through the camera, but they're in really good condition. There's going to be photos posted on eBay, of course. This is the eBay store. It is ebay.com slash str slash Pokemon 10,000, just the number, no spaces. I'm going to put the URL also in the description of this video. Um, I know I don't try and sell to my customers. It's usually me just talking about my sales. But the only reason, so also I want to reiterate, the only reason why I'm selling all of these ones instead of PSA and them myself is these ones aren't in perfect condition. They are pretty close. They're, you know, PSA 7s, 8s, and I think there was a 9 here and there in my opinion. Um, I'm not asking PSA prices. I'm putting all these together. I'm starting the bid at $1 shipping. Um, I'm going to do uh, 6 to $7 for the shipping just in case I have to put it in two packages and that's covered. Um, but yeah, so it's going to be a $1 bid with shipping $6 to $7. They're going to come penny sleeved and top loaded they will get to you in the condition that they are pictured in um they are just the really fantastic cards i'm not trying to hype the sale and the fact that i'm telling you that these are going to be worth something I, I, as you see i have my own that i'm sending in the separation between this and the gold duck was because i couldn't hardly find any research on it um uh, let me take one more look at them i i don't think i'm going to uh sentiment myself i think i'll keep him in this pile he's a great looking card he should definitely be at least a psa 7 um, but the only reason why i'm not holding on to them is i am not a collector i don't want to have a huge pile of a long-term investment i'd rather have uh, some maybe i'm willing to have some long-term investment like about this much and probably some of my other cards that i have on the table but out of my breaks and this should be all my break collection there might be some hiding somewhere but um in terms of break collection, those like eight to nine are the ones that I'm willing to PSA and hold on to. Uh, but I believe every last break card is going to go up in value. Um, ones to look for, of course, is the errors. Those will have significant value increase. And then the other ones is more of the original Pokemon and their evolutions that may have come late. So Crobat is a great example. So I think PSA 10, I think the asking price for them right now is like, 
a hundred bucks. So Crobat's a good example. He seems to be worth a lot, um, or he'll definitely increase in value. So those original Pokemon like Crobat, Raticate, Golduck, I'm certain there's way there's way more. Of course, the ones that I have pulled aside, but they'll be at eBay.com slash str slash Pokemon ten thousand. Of course, you'll see my other listings. Um, you'll notice that I tend to always have a minimum five dollars shipping. Make sure you talk to me before you buy things together thinking you're going to get a shipping deal. That's a minimum I have, one, to cover the shipping, and, and two, so I make it at least like a buck. I sold a lot of the Pokemon pins that you may have seen in my earlier videos, and for quite a few of them, I only made like a dollar profit. I would rather give this away as giveaways um, for the channel. The issue is, is I'd have to have the winner pay for shipping, so I'm not coming out too much of pocket to give those away. If that's something y'all are willing to do, let me know. I'll discuss it in other videos. This video is getting long. Um, I really hope you enjoyed it. I really hope you liked the view of the break cards. I don't seem to see them a lot. I buy out quite a few binders and only a few binders have had them. And in fact, most of them came from one binder. Um, so it doesn't seem like a lot of people really seem to collect them. I really think the break cards are going to jump up in value, but it's going to take probably five years. We'll probably see them go up within the next year, but it's not going to be anything nuts. We'll probably see PSA 10s go up by about 20 bucks, and that's like um, the good ones, like Needed King and Nine Tails and stuff. We'll probably see those go up by about 20 bucks. Um, in two years, we'll probably see every PSA 10 at least have gone up by 20 to 50 dollars, and the higher end ones 60 dollars. And as I said, by the five year mark, I really think like PSA 10, Nido Kings, and Nine Tails. I really think those are going to be near the $500. Um, and then in the 10 years, you could see them in the $1,000 to $1,500 to $2,000 range. I know 10 years is a long time, but you have to think of, of like how little room these take up. Sure, when they're PSA, they take up a little bit more, but they're hard case. They're protected. They're ready. You literally can just put them somewhere that you know. Like, I have a gun safe. I can put them in my gun safe. It's where I keep uh, some of my super higher-end cards like the Charizard, it's in a gun safe. It's fireproof, bulletproof, and it's locked up. So that's really what I suggest. If you're looking to make some money, but you're willing to wait, buy break cards. It doesn't even have to be from me. Buy break cards. I wouldn't say buy an endless amount. I'd say buy like good, a good, really nice 10 break cards. If you can find them in the air and pay minimum price, do that. Because some, people, some people are not aware of that error. So pay that minimum price of two, three dollars for a really, really clean cut mint. They they sell mint, ungraded, three to four bucks on eBay each. I'm not gonna go nuts with it. I'm still waiting for some funds. I got some things tied up. I want to bring you all new content, but I also want to let you know some investor strategies in this game. Sure, there's always the strategy of buying sealed product and not opening it. The disadvantage with that is the amount of space it takes up and the fact that the seal can still break over time and people are getting really, 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 really edgy about buying that stuff. Why? Because there is a ton of resealing. I just watched a video on all the different resealing techniques people are doing and then the tricks to seeing it and then the fact that they're finding a way to get past the tricks of seeing it. So everyone is on nerves and ends about buying sealed products. They really are looking for PSA products because they're authenticated. So they come saying that this is the real card, this is the grade, and it's never gonna lose this value. It'll only go up as long as the collectability continues within, within the hobby. So that's about it. I just wanted to let you know about the eBay store. I wanted to let you know about break cards as an investment. I wanted to give you all a chance to win a set. Uh, it's gonna be like, I think it's like 10 to 20. I don't know, I wasn't counting, but it's gonna be these 10 to 20. You'll find them on the store. I'm gonna be listing them pretty soon. It's gonna take me a little bit to upload pictures, but they're gonna come penny sleeved and top loaded. Shipping's probably gonna be $7 flat, but the bid will start at $1 other than that. They're gonna come in bubble mailers if I have to do more than one package. You guys know how I am about packaging stuff. They're gonna come to you the way they're supposed to. It'll be easy to open, it's gonna be great. I hope we all learn something about break cards. And I really hope for my sake and for everyone's sake who's watching this and who's about to buy break cards or already has break cards, that I'm right about the investment for break cards. I was right about Pikachu, and I'm pretty certain I'll be right about this. So thanks, good luck, and uh, good luck on the bid if you are bidding on me. So uh, have fun bidding. Bye.